What's up, everybody? I got bored, so I decided I'm going to make a video. And in this one, I'm going to be ranking my favorite teams 1 to 32, starting with number 32, getting all the way up to 1. Starting with number 32, the Philadelphia Flyers. See, I got two jerseys for them. Have this one, the Reebok Home, and this one, the 2019 Stadium Series. Uh, it's simple as that. I just hate the Flyers. I haven't always hated the Flyers, but as I got older and realized what rivalries were, I have liked them even less every year. On to number 31. <clears throat> number 31, the Washington Capitals. I've always hated the Capitals. It's no secret to anybody. <sighs> I live with a Caps fan. Well, my sister's a Caps fan. Ugh. On to number 29. And by 29, I'm at 30. But it's the New York Rangers, a team that... Again, I used to be okay with the Rangers, but in recent years, I liked them less and less and less and less, and now I absolutely cannot stand them. This is my only Rangers jersey, and one of only two teams that I don't have an Adidas jersey for. And the other team would be, who's actually number 29? The real number 29, the New York Islanders, another team that I used to enjoy watching, but over time, I've gotten less interested in them and now I hate them <laughs> again this is my only Islanders jersey and the only other team that I do not have an Adidas jersey for on to number 28 number 28 the New Jersey Devils a team that I've never liked although I will say I do like this jersey more than the Reebok ones I don't know something about this one though even though it looks more bland it feels less bland than the Reeboks um it's my only Devils jersey. Hopefully I can get the white one eventually. But number 28, New Jersey Devils. Let's go on number 27. Number 27, the Nashville Predators, a team I've never liked. And ever since the 2017 Stanley Cup Final, I've hated even more. Like the fans, like they, yeah, they, they're passionate. They're just annoying. But this is my only Preds jersey. Hopefully I can get the home one soon or eventually, whatever. For now, this is the only one I got. Let's get on to 26. Number 26, the Vancouver Canucks. I have two jerseys for them, as you can see. You have the Reebok home with the old Reebok. So this is like before 2011. And I got this jersey because this one is old. And like the logo's peeling on it and whatever. So I just went and got the upgraded Adidas one. From the first couple years of Adidas before they took the Vancouver script off. And the Canucks are just that team I have always hated and never known why. Like, they're a fun team to watch, sure. At least now they are. But I always hated them. I don't know why. On number 25. Number 25, the Vegas Golden Knights. As of right now, this is the only Vegas Golden Knights jersey in my possession. It is the gray one. What used to be their home is now their alternate. Which makes more sense for them to have the gold jersey as the home. Because it's the exact opposite of the white. And there are the golden knights. Charcoal gray, really? I will say it's a nice jersey though. No other team wears this color in the league. Um, Vegas, a team that I knew I wasn't really going to like at the start. They were doing okay for a little bit. I started to like them a little bit. But as they have been around for a while and been watching them more hearing about them more I started to just like them less and less and less now they're down to 25 they were at 12 at one point but now they're down to 25 let me show you number 24 number 24 the Arizona Coyotes I have four jerseys for them as you see this one this one this one and this one a team that I've never liked but I've always felt bad for her because they keep having the worst of luck when it comes to like ownership management. The team sucks playing. Although they're doing pretty good right now. They're like a nine game point streak last I checked. Um, having arena issues. I just, Like the Coyotes, I want them to be good. I don't want them to move or whatever. Like, yeah, they moved from Glendale to Tempe, but that's a good move for them. They're still in Arizona. I want them to stay in Arizona. Because I just feel like a team in Houston wouldn't work because Dallas and a team in Quebec wouldn't work because the Canadian dollar is too weak and Bettman doesn't want it. I want them to stay in Arizona. That's just my preference. 
This is my favorite jersey for them. But they are number 24. They have slowly moved up in the past few years, but I don't see them getting much higher than they already are. So let's show me, uh, let me show you number 23. Number 23, the Detroit Red Wings, another team I've never really liked. Although they were one of the first teams I saw on TV. And of course they have incredible history. They've been around for almost 100 years. Iconic jerseys, they've rarely ever changed. I think the only change they've ever really made was, well, once it became the Red Wings, was switching the red and the white in the logo. If you look at older pictures, it's the same logo, but the colors are reversed. But, don't get me wrong, nice jerseys. I, I hope they never change. I just don't like the team very much. So they're number 23. Let's go on number 22. Number 22 is the Buffalo Sabres. This is the only jersey I have for them. It's the Old Navy one. Um, I like the new ones better, but got this one for my 18th birthday, I think. And um, hopefully I can get the uh, new ones relatively soon. Although this one's nice to have. It's a piece of Sabres history. Um, the Sabres are one of those teams I've never really liked. Um, they haven't been that great for years. I mean, they have the longest playoff drought of all four major sports, as far as I know. I think they do. At least in the NHL. Hopefully that can change for them this year, though. They're looking good, and they have a legitimate shot of being a wild card team this year, I think. And um, we'll see if they can pull it off on number 21. Number 21 is the Columbus Blue Jackets. I have this Reebok with that Union Soldier cap logo on the shoulder, and then this prime green Adidas with the cannon on it. One word to describe this team, irrelevancy. And what the hell happened? They were good for a few years, and then they just disappeared. And have since become one of the most boring teams to watch in the NHL. These are the only two jerseys I have for them. Um, and uh, yeah, they're number 21. Let's go on to number 20. Not really much to say about Columbus. Number 20 is the Calgary Flames. These are the only two jerseys I have for them. It's the old 2010s ones. These are the Adidas ones, though. I need to get the newer ones. But a team I've never liked. Who'd have thought? Number 20. I still don't like them. Um, I will say that these jerseys are pretty nice, at least. With the Alberta flag and the Canadian flag on both of them, on the shoulders. And the uh, Flames logo. Just me personally, never been a fan. One thing I have always liked about the Flames, though, is the ice at the beginning of the season. Them and Edmonton both. The ice looks so nice. I just want to skate on it so bad. It'd be such an opportunity to do that. Uh, like, I want to go skate on those ice, or on those ice surfaces. But that'll probably never happen anytime soon. Um, let's get on to number 19. Number 19, the Florida Panthers. Only two jerseys I have for them. Both are prime green, home and away. So the only prime green Panthers jersey I don't have is their second reverse retro. Um, a team that, again, I've never really been a fan of. That's why they're at number 19. I like them more than some teams. I'll root for them over quite a few teams. And if we're at 19, that would mean at least like 12 or 13 teams. Anyway, I will never understand how I was able to get my hands on this. Or how the side I got it from got their hands on it. Because this is one of the rarest jerseys in the entire NHL to get your hands on. The only one I had that I think is even harder to get is the uh, Coyotes Old White that I showed you earlier. This one, also hard to find. Panther jerseys are just hard to find in general. But they both have the uh, sleeves, the Florida flag, the Panthers. The away says Florida here and Panthers here. The home, the opposite. Panthers here, Florida here. Um... It would be nice to get some with the Leaping Panthers on. So hopefully I can get that hands, can get my hands on the uh, first reverse retro. That would be so cool. But all right, on to number 18. Number 18, the Colorado Avalanche. This is the only jersey I have for them. A team, again, that I've never been a fan of. Although, this jersey looks cool. I just hate that they got rid of the black and replaced all of the blue on the jerseys. It looks way too blue, especially on the white. It looks... Uh, eh. 
on the um, home, but it looks ugh, on the light. The thing I would do for the home at least, burgundy gloves, burgundy helmet, if you're going to do the blue pants. And for the white, I would go burgundy everything. <laughs> Gloves and pants. Um, I would rather them use the burgundy than the blue if they're going to do that. Or even better, go back to the black. I hate how overused blue is in the NHL. And them using more blue just really annoys me. Although the jerseys themselves, without the numbers, look pretty good. On to number 17. Number 17 is the Ottawa Senators. Another team that I've never really liked. And another team that I hate their rebrand. Because this logo, I think, is way better than the 2D Spartan. I like this logo. I hate the new one. The jerseys, eh, these jerseys weren't that great. But the logo is where it's at. And all I can say about the Ottawa Senators... Senators fans, if you're in the comments, you're going to hate me, but Chris Coon killed your franchise. We're halfway through. You've seen 16, 16 to go, and number 16, the Boston Bruins. The last team I got a jersey for. The Bruins are another team that I used to be okay with. They weren't really, like, one of the teams I really liked, but I didn't mind them. Now, eh, they're right at the halfway point. Don't like them, don't exactly hate them, but I'm not a fan. The jerseys though, big fan, because original six should never be touched. I think the jerseys are perfect the way they are for Boston. And there's really not much else to say about that. And on to number 15. Number 15, the Toronto Maple Leafs, another team that I've never liked, but also never hated. Um. Again, I got a jersey, original six. I think this rebrand that they did uh, like six years ago, uh, actually 2016, 17, so that's seven years ago. Um, I think this is perfect. I think they should never change their look. This is the way it should be for Toronto. The block leaf should stay away forever. This, this is the best look they ever had. And will they get past the first round this year? My answer is no, Tampa and seven. On to number 15, 14. Number 14 is the Anaheim Ducks. These are the only two jerseys I have for them. This is my favorite Ducks jersey ever. And I wouldn't be against them making a white version of it. This be the home, that be the away. Reverse stretch was close, but not quite what I'm looking for. And then this is the Reebok home from like 2013 or 14. Like the first year that they used this logo instead of the Ducks, like the word mark on the jerseys. Whatever that was. The Ducks, a team I've never hated, but never liked. I do have a friend who's a Ducks fan, though. Um, let's go on number 13. Number 13, the Minnesota Wild. Another team I've never liked, but never hated. I've always kind of been neutral about the Wild. Um, this is the best look they've ever had. They should never change it, in my opinion. The only thing I would change for them is on the white jerseys, make the numbers green outlined in red instead of the way they are now. I think it needs to be more green. The wild need to be green. So glad they don't wear red anymore as a primary color. That looks ridiculous. But this is the only jersey I have for them. The M on the shoulders, both of them. So let's get on to number 12. You might be surprised. Number 12, surprise, surprise, is the Carolina Hurricanes. I have three jerseys for the Canes. This one, this one, and that one back there. I got this one when I was in Raleigh last month. Uh, I got this one after the game against the Penguins. And this is my favorite Kansas jersey ever. And I hate that they got rid of it. Like, why is this the home? This is the logo. And their away jersey that says Kansas down the crest. If it had that logo, if it looked more like that, or like this, with this logo, it'd be perfect. But the Canes suck. 
the diagonal Canes sucks. The Canes are really good. And their fans are very passionate. Whoever thinks Raleigh's not a hockey town, you're wrong. I've been to three games in Raleigh. They're the closest team to me. I can go whenever I want. That's that they're a hockey town. I've tailgated with them. They are a hockey town. Hopefully, I can get the Whalers jersey soon. But for now, this is the only three I have, and they're number 12 on this list. And let's get on to number 11. Number 11, the Chicago Blackhawks. This is the only two jerseys I have for them. The Reebok Home, the DSOA with the old collar. I wanted to get it just so I had it. Because it's a jersey they wore, and my goal is to get every Adidas jersey for every team in the Adidas era. So, this one was a must. Anyway, the Blackhawks, a team that I used to really like and really enjoy watching. They used to be in my top five. But they fall into 11 because over the years, the team has gotten worse and worse and worse. The rumors about Kane and Taves just make the whole situation even worse. The Kyle Beach situation, lost a lot of respect for him out of that. And the Blackhawks... For such a storied franchise, it's sad to see where they're going right now. But every team rebuilds, and eventually, you're going to have to have these kinds of times, whether you're original six or the Seattle Kraken. But overall, amazing jerseys. They are practically untouched in their entire history. Yeah, except like the color right here. Like, we all know that. I already talked about that. But a team with a lot of history, a lot of success in their history. Almost 100 years old. Three Stanley Cups in six years in the early 2010s. The Blackhawks used to be a fun team to watch. But now, I've just liked watching them even less. Let's get into the top ten. Numero 10, the Canadiens de Montreal. The Montreal Canadiens, the only Frenchie team in the NHL, in the neck of this jersey, it has French written in it. And on the shield here, it says LNH for Ligue de National Hockey instead of NHL. It's the French version. A jersey, again, practically untouched in their entire history. The oldest team in the NHL, founded in 1909, before the NHL even existed. They won cups before the NHL existed. One cup, but still. A jersey I hope never changes. Except for the white one. I'd like if their white one matched this one better. Or more, whatever. It's not bad, though. It's iconic. The most cups in the NHL. 24. Well, 23 in the NHL, I think. Let me check. No, they had 24 in the NHL. My bad. <laughs> so I guess they might not have won. Uh... When they uh, were pre-NHL, but I feel like they did. I'm going to have to double check that. I have the uh, logos on my ceiling with the amount of cups the teams won. I still got to do the Metro Division, but anyway. Amazing jersey. Number 10 on this list. Let's get on to number 9. Number 9, the LA Kings. I have two jerseys for them. It's this one, the home. This one, the old other one they don't wear anymore. Um... The Kings are one of those teams that I kind of always liked. Like, I've never hated them. I might have been neutral about them at the beginning. But once they won their cups, I started to really like them a little bit. One thing I'll always like about the Kings is their goal horn. That thing sounds crisp. It sounds great. Like, when they score, you know. Um, I think they make the black and gray, the bland-looking jerseys. I think they work for this team. Uh, although... I would like to see the purple make a comeback, but I think if they're gonna do that, I wanna see purple with the black and gray and white, or silver, I should say. It's more of a silver than a gray. This jersey's gray, though. Um, really, not much else to say about them. Uh, just, just kinda always like them. On the number eight. Number eight, the St. Louis Blues, a team that I've always kinda had a thing for. Uh, their horn, like it. Um, the colors, nice. The jerseys, really nice. And once 
when they went back to like this look, I think it was amazing. Instead of having like all the piping and whatnot in the uh, Reebok jerseys, or at least the older Reebok jerseys, like when David Backus was on the blues. Um, these ones look nice. This is my only blue jersey. Hopefully I can get my hand on some more because the blues have really nice jerseys. Um, and I was rooting for them in the 2019 Stanley Cup Final when they beat Boston. That was a really fun series to watch. One of my favorite Stanley Cup Final series ever watched. Let's get on to number seven. Number seven is the Edmonton Oilers, a team that I've always been a fan of, but recently have fallen a couple spots. And by recently, I mean right before I started making this video and coming up with which teams I wanted to wear. <laughs> like, I literally switched them with another team right before making this video. Um, but there's a few reasons for that. One, I've never really been a fan of McDavid. I don't ask why, I've just always hated McDavid. Um, and two, the color scheme. This was amazing. This was my favorite Oilers look they've ever had. I think the Oilers should be orange. I think blue was ever used, like I said, with Colorado earlier. Um, and when they went back to the Royal Blue, ugh, I was not a fan of it. But there's number seven. The Oilers are now my second favorite Canadian team. Let's get on to number six. Number six, the Seattle Kraken, the youngest franchise in all four major sports. Amazing logo, amazing colors, amazing branding. Like, they blow Vegas away when it comes to marketing and whatnot. Like, Seattle had me hooked, no pun intended, right from the beginning. Um, Vegas kind of blew their chances when they went with Golden Knights instead of Desert Knights, which is what I wanted. But Seattle, name the team the name I wanted, the Kraken, the colors, don't disappoint. The logo doesn't disappoint. The jerseys, even better. This is the only Kraken jersey I have in my possession right now. But um, a team that I liked from the beginning, even though they're still very young. But let's get into the top five. Number five is the Winnipeg Jets. Remember when I said Edmonton got switched for the team right before making his video? Jets got moved up. My favorite Canadian team now. And it makes sense, though, for me, because they have my favorite jerseys in Canada. At least now they do. Um, this jersey is amazing. The logos, incredible. The team, I think, has a legitimate shot at winning the cup in the next five to ten years. And I would root for them if they get deep in the playoffs this year. Um, and if any Canadian team was to win the cup and break that drought, I'd want it to be the Jets. Um, they're a good team. They're fun to watch. And... Now they're my favorite Canadian team. I don't really know what else to say. But all right. Now the next four are my favorite teams in each of their respective divisions. Number four, the Tampa Bay Lightning. I have three jerseys for them. This one, this one, and that one back there. Uh, these are both prime green, and that one's not. Uh, the team that I've kind of always liked. Again, because that might have part in, to do with my dad being a Lightning fan. But he's been a Lightning fan since the beginning. Um... I have just kind of gone along with it, rooted for them each of the last three years in the Stanley Cup Final. Um, always been somewhat of a fan, not my favorite team, but not a team I hate, a team that I've always kind of liked. Um, and my hometown uh, AHL team way back when, they're ECHL now, uh, they were ECHL before that, but AHL at the time were the Tampa Bay Lightning affiliate for a while. And during that time, I got to meet a lot of Lightning players, like, um, I think Braden Point, uh, Andre Pilat, Tyler Johnson at the time, and Pilat at the time. Alex Kaloran, he's still there. Um, and when they were the Ducks affiliate, I met guys like Freddie Anderson, Ricardo Kell, anybody on the Ducks at that time. But Tampa, number four, favorite team in the Atlantic Division, favorite team in the Central Division, up next. Number three on the list, favorite team in the Central Division, the Dallas Stars. Um, ever since they changed to this victory green look, I've been a huge fan of the Stars. At least, not as huge as the top two, but 
enough that I rooted for them in the 2020 Stanley Cup Final, as well as in other playoff years, I'd root for them if they got deep. And um, I've always liked their horn, too. They've always been like a top five team for me. But they're set, locked in at number three. One of my favorite teams to watch. Um, and these are the only two jerseys I have for them. This one, the Reebok home, and this one, the Adidas home. This one says stars in the collar. This one says victory green. Um, yeah, a fun team to watch. Fun colors to see on TV. Hopefully I can get my hands on the um, black one with the neon green logo with the D inside of the state of Texas. That'd be so cool. On to number two. Number two, the San Jose Sharks. Favorite team in the Pacific Division. One of the teams I've always liked. I've always been a fan of the Sharks. I get really excited watching Sharks games whenever they score, win, whatever. They're a fun team to watch for me. Um, and I really hope that they figure something out and make the playoffs again soon. But I'm also right now on the tank for Bedard train for San Jose. Uh, so we need to start losing some games, San Jose. So you might be able to pick up Connor Bedard in the draft. And then go all out for a cup, maybe. Um, favorite team in the Western Conference. Um, this look is the one that I like. I'm not a huge fan of the rebrand. Um, I don't really like the jerseys that much. The uh, home looks a little too teal. I think they should go black pants, black gloves, black helmet. And uh, honestly, same thing for the white. The teal looks better on the white, but... Still not what it used to be. I think these jerseys, even though they look pretty bland, were still nice to wash. And uh, I personally like them. Uh, hopefully, I can get my hands on those new ones. This one, the Reebok version of the home version of this. This one has the Leaping Shark. This one has the 3D Shark. Only two Sharks jerseys at the moment. And now, on to number one. Number one... To no one's surprise, everyone knows this. If you've been watching the channel, if you've known me in real life, then everybody knows I am a Pittsburgh Penguins fan. It's embarrassing at times. It's great at times. This year is one of those years where I hate myself because why did I choose to be a fan of this team? Anyway, the team I have the most jerseys for, because I don't just have this one. I have that one. This one. This one, this one, this one, this one, my most expensive jersey, this one, this one, this one, and this one. 11 Penguin jerseys in my collection at the moment. Um, and Favorite team in the East, favorite team in the Metro, favorite team in the NHL. Doesn't matter how you put it, Penguins are my favorite team. Um, I've been a fan since I was like four years old. Uh, when I first started watching hockey, the first Stanley Cup final I ever watched was the Penguins and the Red Wings. And I got hooked on the Pens real fast. Uh, Sidney Crosby was the first player I saw on TV. And then from then, I just kept watching and watching and watching. Whenever the Penguins were on, I wanted to watch them. So from a really young age, I started watching the Penguins. And since then, I've been a Pens fan through and through. Win or lose, Penguins fan to the end. And I hope I didn't forget to mention that one up there. <laughs> I think I did. But that is it. One through 32 in the end in my favorite NHL teams. Um, and you've seen all the jerseys I have in my collection so far. But that's changing soon. Because the next video you're going to see is another jersey unboxing. Take your guesses in the comments as to what jerseys you think you're going to see. And all right. Now for this. Definitely didn't just record this part so you can see every jersey in my collection. ECHL Norfolk Admirals, hometown team. Anyway, if you made it this part of the video, then you made it more than most people that watch my videos. Because my analytics are really kind of annoying 99% of people that watch my videos aren't subscribed so what are you doing subscribe <laughs> and that way we can have 
more fun with this channel and have a great community. That's what I really want in this channel is to have a nice community in it. Anyway, since you've watched this far in the video, why don't, in the comments, leave your list for your favorite teams and maybe even your favorite jersey you saw in this video. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.